Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. I'm cruising the streets right now, all right? So I wanted to make this video because it's much needed, man. And I want to help y'all further your lifestyle, further your, you know, your dreams, uh, if I can do that, right? And so a lot of people think they don't have no money. And I've been telling people this for so long that you can get money and it's not hard to get, right? How can you compete with somebody who's rich? What's the difference between somebody who has, you know, a uh, million dollars versus somebody who's broke? It's a mindset, right? That's the only difference. They think different than, than you do. So if you want to know how, how they make a lot of money, first of all, they, they, they grind. You know, they don't make excuses. And they just think different than you do, right? Like for instance, for some people, credit cards are evil and bad. For other people, credit cards are the reason why they're, you know, uh, succeeding in business. So, if you're broke right now, if you don't have money, if you don't, if you're not where you want to be, let me tell you how you can compete with the people who are, are rich and making money. Get your credit right. That's the key. Get your credit right. Okay, I don't know how it works for everybody overseas, because I don't know, you know, I know everybody's stuff is different, but as far as the United States, get your credit right. If you want to compete with the big dogs, get your credit right, period. Right, why do I say that? The average person, they show that they don't make over, you know, $50,000 uh, $50, a year, right? The average household, that's whack, right? And it's because all this knowledge out all this knowledge out here and people are not using it to their advantage so what i'm telling you guys is if you get your credit right you can do things that most people dream about and you don't even have a lot of money credit is going to be able to help you to better your lifestyle okay so let's say you you want to go on vacations you don't have money right let's say you're an online entrepreneur you see people going to Jamaica, you see people going overseas and to Dubai and all this, and you don't got no bread, right? But you know a little bit about your business and it's, it's kind of hard for you to get sales or leads or whatever it is, right? And you want to be an online guru or you want to be, you know, the, the go-to person uh, on on uh, in your niche or whatever, right? So you go to their page and you see they posting all these pictures of having fun uh, overseas or you know, driving these cars and all this, right? So let's be smart about it. This is the kind of stuff that's going on, that's been going on for years that a lot of people don't talk about, right? So if you're broke, get yourself a credit card. I've been saying that forever, right? A lot of people hate credit cards. They say they're bad and they're gonna ruin their life. Credit cards are some of the best things to, to, that's gonna ever happen to people who don't have money, if they know how to use them, right? If they know how to use them. So the average person, let's say you work a regular nine to five, you're not making much bread, right? You're probably making 10, $15 an hour, not even that, it's 11, $10 an hour, right? And and after you pay your bills or whatever, you don't got no, you don't got no extra money, right? So let's say you go apply for a credit card, right? And I, I would prefer if you just in high school, because I know some of y'all watch me in high school, if you're in high school or you getting close to graduating high school, Get yourself a credit card. Do not use it for uh, clothes, shoes, and all that right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to use it for investments only right now. All right? So let's say you want to go on a trip, and you see a trip to Jamaica is what? Uh, let's say $1,000, right? The thing I like about credit cards is, first and foremost, that it's a revolving credit, right? It's revolving, meaning once you pay that money, right, to buy something, you didn't have a balance, right? But once you pay that balance down, you can use the money again. So you're pretty much just recycling money. In my eyes, you never really lose money unless you pay late fees or interest and all that, right? You never really lose money at all. You're just recycling it. You paying some money, right? Off the card, you got a balance. You get that, that statement in the mail or online or whatever. You see your balance, what your balance is. You pay that balance down and then you can use the money again. And you can do that over and over and over. That's why uh, lines of credit are, are always better than loans, right? 
Like we need to get loans out of our vocabulary. You take out a loan, then that's that's a whole different story because you lose the money at the end of the day. But with credit cards, right? Let's say you want to go on a trip to Jamaica, the plane ticket, let's say you got about a $5,000 credit card, right? The plane ticket, you know, where everything is gonna cost you about eleven, twelve hundred dollars right? The one thing I, that's really dope about credit cards, right? Is that if you buy something, right? Then if you don't pay it in full, they'll give you a minimum monthly payment, but never pay the minimum. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. Pay always pay more than the minimum, okay? But let's say you you spent the twelve hundred dollars off the card, right? You didn't have no actual cash. I'm gonna just I'm gonna tell you how to see what's been going on, man. And you go on this vacation, right? You then have fun, but then you start taking pictures. You start doing motivational videos out there. You start doing all this stuff to post because you're thinking on your way back home, but you're having fun still, but you're still doing business out there, right? You're taking as many pictures as you can, as many lifestyle videos with your cell phone or whatever you got out there, right? You're doing all of that. So now this business, I mean, so now this vacation turns into a business trip for you, right? You, you collecting all this stuff. You come back. And now that opportunity that you're in, <laughs> this opportunity that you're in now looks more appealing because you have lifestyle, right? Now, I'm not saying you have to lie to people and say, hey, I make this much money and this company is the reason why I was able to go on this vacation. You don't even have to say that because the fact that you're on the vacation, people automatically are going to assume that that's where it came from. Like literally all you have to do is when you get on the camera, just talk about entrepreneurship, talk about you know your goals uh what your plans are how you're enjoying your life and 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 the business is going to sell itself this is what's been going on and i found out about a lot of this stuff really late in the game because i, I didn't know you know what i'm saying i found out about how people are like credit is has been the thing that has been like literally pushing people to the forefront as far as ads all of that stuff so Okay, you, you go on that trip, you, you get all your stuff together, right? You come back, and now you get your balance, and your balance is $1,200 now that you have to pay back, right? But credit cards, to my eyes, are not a, it's not a bill. It's an investment tool, right? Because once you put that money back, you can use the money again for something else. So let's say you didn't have the full $1,200, and they sent you a monthly payment of like $60, right? And that's the minimum, so you pay maybe you know sixty dollars extra i mean or fifty or forty dollars extra on there right and if you didn't have it you could pay that down slowly you might take a small hit in your credit if it's uh if it's uh, above thirty percent because at thirty percent you don't take no hit on your credit so if it's not which if you got a five thousand dollar limit i don't think that's uh thirty percent of it so you should be good but Let's say it was close to 30% and you take a small hit on your credit, right? You're not trying to buy nothing, no way. So it don't matter right now. The only reason why your credit uh, being super good matters is if you're trying to get a car, get a house and all that stuff right now. If you're not trying to get none of that, it doesn't matter if you take a hit on it right now because you can also get people to remove stuff from your credit. So it don't matter. But let's say, you know, they send you a monthly bill, right? And you pay that down slowly. You pay it down about four, five months or however long it take you, maybe faster than that. Because now that video that you dropped in Jamaica is gonna bring you even more revenue and more sales, right? Guys, let me tell you something. It's about how you think about credit. It's about how you think about credit card. It's about how you use it. Let's say you, you, you did the same thing with your credit card and you put $1,000 in Forex after you learned the skill. Like learn the skill first, right learn the skill first don't just jump in there and try to wing it see the thing is you need to learn something first before you, you use the methods that i'm telling you because this is how you get ahead in life i promise you your credit card to somebody else might be debt and it might be something bad but to you because you know how to use it can make you rich or make you very wealthy make you six figures and i'm i'm, I'm living it like literally so Let's say you took a thousand dollars and you've been studying Forex for about, you know, a month or two and you got it down packed, you got your strategies down, you've been in a demo account, right? And you and you you didn't have a thousand dollars in cash, but you got a thousand or two thousand dollars on your credit card, right? Let's say, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk. 
right? Because I'm I'm already in debt anyway. You know what I'm saying? Most people are already in debt anyway. So if I'm gonna take a risk on something, I'm gonna take a risk on something that's gonna actually make me some money, so I can pay my stuff off. So let's say you drop a thousand. You already know your strategies. You know exactly what you're gonna do. You teamed up with the right people. You drop a thousand uh, in the markets. And how the how forex work? Like literally, if you if you know what you're doing, that thousand dollars can turn to five thousand dollars in a matter of days. Like literally, I've seen it happen. I've done it. So that that can turn to five thousand dollars in a matter of days, right? If you know what you're doing. So let's say, you know, on the on the on a good end, that thousand dollars turned into three thousand, right? You take that thousand out, drop it right back on that credit card, pay the credit card off. You in there now? You in profit about two thousand. This is the game, y'all. Right? It's about how you look at your your credit and your lifestyle and how and how it can uh, help you. And this is coming from somebody that was living paycheck to paycheck, right? So let's say you was living paycheck to paycheck, and now you got an extra two thousand dollars, right? You leave that two thousand dollars in forex in that account, right? And you and you build off that two thousand. That's straight profit. That's straight profit that you uh, had made. You took a thousand out just to pay your credit card back off. And now, guess what? You got a thousand dollars on your credit card again that you can use for another investment, right? So, this is the game. You got to understand. It's how you look at things. If you begin to look at things a certain way, things will start to change. I promise you, you will go from living where you are now to a different neighborhood, and, and it's a wrap. I'm telling you, this is how the game is being played. It's you got to be smart about it. You have a, you have to have a plan. So, another thing that you guys need to look into is business credit, building business credit. Now, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot. A little harder than just building your personal credit because it's a lot more things that go into it. But you open up, you start your LLC. You know, you get your LLC, you get your Dun & Bradstreet number and, uh, you know, virtual address and all of that. And then uh, you start, you know, getting vendor credit and then you start moving up to the to the big the big leagues with the big credit cards. But see, the best thing about business credit is that normally business credit gives you way more money. So let's say you and it doesn't affect your personal credit. So let's say, for instance, you got business credit, right? And you went to Bank of America. And off top, since you got a business and you doing business credit off top, most uh, credit card companies are gonna give you minimum fifteen or twenty thousand dollars off the rip, and that's just one bank. So the, the what you do is this: is how you rack up. You go to your first bank, right? After you done build your portfolio and your business credit, you go to your first bank and you apply for a credit card. Let's say you get twenty thousand, right? Okay, you don't stop there. You go to another bank, another credit union. Right, you go to credit your credit unions is popping, but you go to another bank or another credit union, right? And then you you go apply again, and let's say the next credit union gives you another twenty thousand, so you forty thousand dollars in. Let's say you just an average regular person that was working at Walmart or something, and now you got an extra forty thousand dollars, and then you go to another one, and you just keep doing it, and guess guess what? It's so many dope credit repair people out here. It's a lot of people that, that don't know what they're doing, but it's a lot of people that I know, so if you need them, just let me know. But that they can literally remove inquiries off your off of your um, credit report, so that way you can continue to apply for credit cards. Because certain credit card companies like Chase, they only want you to, um, they only want you to have about five inquiries when you're dealing with Chase because Chase got some really dope cars like the Chase Sapphire, the Freedom and all that. But they only want you to have um, a certain amount of inquiries uh, a year or in a certain time frame. So the key, the, the game is you uh, apply, right? You, you build up these inquiries because you're getting all these cars and then you have them remove the inquiries and then you can go reapply it for more cars. So Let's say you the average person that was working at Walmart, and now you went from you know making eleven, twelve dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, to now having over seventy, eighty thousand dollars in your pocket that you can invest in, right? This is how you come up. It ain't even off of it ain't even off of these opportunities. It's not even off of these online opportunities. 
because you gotta you you literally and, and a lot of these opportunities you gotta get people to join to make money right but what if you can just start making money by yourself right and you can build wealth by yourself and then spread the wealth everywhere else once you finally get it because some people just let's just be honest they're not good at recruiting they're not good at you know certain things and they just don't want to you know they don't want to get involved in that so why not build a platform because most of us didn't grow up rich at all you know what i'm saying i'm not rich i live in an apartment right now because i'm smart because next year watch it watch the house i get next year because i've been living in this apartment for about four or five years now with my wife watch the house i get next year this is the moment we've been waiting on i told her i said we're not moving out of here until i can get the house that we want and i'm not settling for for no rinky ding house i want the house that's lit so just just keep keep your eyes peeled remember i said that but um yeah man so just imagine going from the average person to making to having at least eighty to ninety thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars because honestly with business credit you can't really do this with personal but with business credit you, uh, it's people out there that can get you a hundred thousand dollars in like six months literally but you got to have a plan for that kind of money like start thinking about what would you do with the kind of money with that kind of money like if you don't have a plan you're gonna ruin yourself right but if you got a plan like investing in real estate buying and flipping houses things like that oh yeah you're gonna make some bread then but if you don't know what you're doing and you're just spending it recklessly on trying to get a new car or something then you're gonna ruin yourself you know what i'm saying so have a plan in place and and you good i promise you this is how people are killing the game and i had to make this video because i don't even care how long it is because y'all gotta hear this like you don't you don't have to worry about opportunities and nothing that because listen when you build credit right when you build credit cards up when you build all this stuff up you now have the tools to dominate the internet and that's how all these people are dominating and i've been wanting to tell y'all that um this is how people are dominating the internet you know how ty lopez how he got started using credit <coughs> using using loans and running ads using business credit he believes in using other people's money which is credit cards uh lines of credit all that stuff to run ads he spent he said he spent over i think it maybe it may have been like four five hundred thousand dollars in his early years when he first started on running youtube ads and that's all you ever seen that was the first time anybody ever seen anything like that that uh look in my garage video man that video was everywhere and he'll tell you I use credit. It was credit. It was it was business credit, whatever he owned if it was business or personal, but he used credit. He used other people's money to push them ads out. And I was wondering, like, dang man, I wish I just had some money to do that. And when I realized the credit game, that's how the average person can get wealth, right? You take all that money. Let's say you got just on a regular end, let's say you just got like five five thousand dollar credit card limit, right? Let's say you take $2,000 off of there and you run an ad, but make sure your product is on deck or whatever it is, your Shopify store or your training course or whatever it is, it's dope. And, and you know, you know, it's dope and you put time and effort into it. And then you run your ad, whether it's a Google ad, a YouTube ad, an Instagram ad, a Facebook ad, you run your ad and you're going to see results. I'm telling you. And, and I ain't talking about no small results. You run a two thousand dollar ad, you gonna you gonna see a good five, six, seven thousand, sometimes even ten, twenty thousand. Like literally, this is the game, y'all. And I want y'all to get it and run with it. Like I'm telling you, get your credit right, all the way right. Like get into the seven hundreds, and it's not hard. You got a lot of people out here that can fix your credit, right? CJ the credit fixer is one of them, right? Uh. Uh, Jay knows credit is another person that's on the internet. Um, I know a guy in my city named Vance. He hooked you up. It's a lot of it's a lot of good people that really know what they're doing. That can remove debt, remove bankruptcies, all that, and get your credit in the seven hundreds, and you can start a whole new life. Like you can live like the average millionaire off of your credit and building businesses that's gonna then pay you to pay the debt off and live the rest of your life, the best of your life, like literally. So. Man, y'all gotta understand. Like, listen, another thing is, um, if you wanna get your score high and popping, you need uh, trade lines, right? So, 
I've been telling y'all about trade lines. Uh, it's a primary trade line like my jewelers club. You gotta pay like ninety nine dollars, but they give you a, a unsecured um, five thousand dollar credit card, right? I mean, not a credit card, but they'll give you a five thousand dollar unsecured account that reports to all three credit bureaus. And the reason why that's dope, okay, and that's if you don't want to go to a secure credit card route um, when you first starting out or whatever. If you're just trying to rebuild credit, they'll give you a five thousand dollar unsecured, um, you know account and that's going to report and that helps when you want to apply for certain credit cards and you want to get bigger limits because when they look when credit card companies look and they like oh okay he's been handling five thousand dollars so let me give him an extra 7500 versus if you was to get a secure card with like three hundred dollars on it or two hundred dollars when they finally give you an unsecured card it's only going to be like five hundred dollars or maybe a thousand it's not going to be no big limit because you was only handling a small limit, so they're only going to give you a little bit. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of different primaries and stuff. But uh, if you know somebody, like a grandparent or a business person that got good credit, just ask them to be an authorized user, right? And they do that, your score will go about 150 points, especially if they got like a $30,000 credit card limits and all that. Your score is going to jump up to like 760. No BS. They, they don't have to give you the card. They just add you a report on your uh, credit report as if you had the thirty thousand uh, dollar credit card for like five years, and you good. It's gonna report on yours. They they history is gonna report on your credit card basically, and it's legal. It's completely legal. You can make a lot of money off of that, right? Uh, and then once your score get up there, then you can start selling your own trade lines because yo you got the cards now. You got the score. That's another business. Another thing that I know a guy that's doing. He's killing it, right? But he has money, and what he does is he finance, He went out and financed a Lamborghini. He pays $3,000 a month on his Lamborghini. I know y'all like, dang, that's crazy. I couldn't do that, right? But he's smart. So this is what he does. He finances it for $3,000 a month, but then he rents it out to other people for $1,500 a day. And he gets about, I'm talking about on, on, a, good, on a good week, he probably do about... I say 10 people. So he, he triple, he, he super, uh, surpassed his monthly payment in the first, you know, 10 days. Cause when you got a Lamborghini, people want it for their music videos, photo shoots, uh, video lifestyle videos. They want it. So they're going to pay that 1500, you know what I'm saying? To, to do it. So he ran it out and he's making an extra $40,000. He's going to be paying that car off like that. So guys, it's so much stuff you can do when you got good credit, but he couldn't, he wouldn't be able to do that if he didn't have good credit. He can't go in there and get some kind of deals and stuff like that if you don't got good credit, right? And and then, you know, leveraging your credit to just help you, your career, like, it can literally take you to the next level, y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, I, I wish I understand what you missing out on if you're not getting your credit right. I used to be a person that was in the 400s, right? And didn't really care. Didn't care about the credit because I didn't know nothing about it. I was just hanging with the wrong people. And now, I'm preaching this to as many people as I can, bro. Get your credit right because your credit can take you, the average person from, from freaking making minimum wage to making millions in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. Like, imagine you going from, you know, minimum wage or whatever it was twenty dollars an hour that's still not no money to making to having in your pocket at all times around a hundred thousand dollars in credit that you can then go purchase a property with or two of multiple properties right move people in those get paid residual income off of those properties right while you paying down your debt like it's all right let me show you let me tell y'all something that that i know a guy that does this is this is what he does right he, he buys properties with his credit right and then he fixes them up with the credit card, right? He fixes the houses up with the credit cards. He got huge limits, twenty, thirty thousand dollar limits. He fixes the houses up with the credit card, right? Then he refinances the house, takes that extra money, pays the credit card completely off after he didn't ran it up around twenty thousand dollars on repairs on the house, refinances the house, and then the people that that he move in the house, they're gonna pay the mortgage down anyway. So he doesn't have to pay that. And he does multifamily homes. So that way if someone moves out, he's constantly getting the cash flow coming in. You see what I'm saying? This is the kind of stuff 
that the average person wouldn't be able to do. How long would it take you to save up a hundred thousand dollars, or or to to will your job ever give you a twenty thousand dollar raise? It's not gonna happen. So if you're working a regular job right now, let's say you go from you know you're working in a warehouse and you hate it, or you work in FedEx or you driving trucks, and it's like man, I need something else, right? How can you get an extra twenty thousand dollar raise on your job? It's not gonna happen. But what you can do is get your credit right, apply for credit cards apply for all this other stuff, right? And then use that extra money as, as to increase your net worth. It's about how you look at it. It's not debt to me because it's gonna help me make more money that I didn't even have, right? So if I if, if after I pay all my bills with a regular job, I only got, you know, $150 to my name, but I got an extra $60,000 in credit cards, I'm good because now I know if something comes up or a newer program comes out or I can build my own program because I got the money to invest in it, to do it how I've been wanting to do it. Because a lot of y'all got ideas. Y'all just don't have the money. So how can you get the money? Credit, right? Use your credit wisely, man, and you will be ahead of the game. I promise you. You will remember this video and you're going to be like, bro, I'm so glad you said something about credit Especially if you're young. If you're 18, 16, I'm telling you, this is the time for you to do it. By the time you're 25, you probably be multimillionaire. I'm not even playing. I wish I had this information a long time ago. Like, for real. It would have been over. Like, I wouldn't even went to college. I would have took, or if I did, I would have took them, um, I would have took my freaking uh, college refunds and spent them on Forex, and I would have tripled my money and all that. Like, I didn't know a lot of stuff that I know now, which is cool because I'm still young, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I got to help the next generation or even people who, who are struggling financially and want to make money. You want to make money online? I'm going to keep it 100. The people who make the real money online, they run ads, right? They run ads. And they're they, they not scared to run ads. They're not scared to lose money or waste money or whatever, you taking a risk every day when you get up. So you might as well take a risk at something you believe in. So if you got a company you believe in, a course you believe in, man, get your money up and run that ad. If you don't got no money, if it's hard for you to get more money, if your job not giving you raises, get your credit right, go get you some cards. Use them cards as investment tools and increase your lifestyle. I promise you, you gonna be straight. You gonna look up, you gonna have five or six credit cards, all of them going to have five thousand, twenty, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 limits on them. You're going to live in a different neighborhood. Your credit score going to be up. And you're going to be like, bro, I can't believe I waited so long to do this. And that's how I feel. But now I know we're in a position because that's why I just said, wait till next year when y'all see the house that we're going to get. That's all I'm going to say. Because <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting on it. I've been patient. I know what I know now. And I know it's like I got all this knowledge and people are like, bro. You still live in an apartment. And I'm like, that's because I choose to. I don't have to. I could have been had a house. And it, it would have been nice to what most people would have thought about. Oh, that's a nice house. Nah, but I want that wow factor house. So I want that dang, bro. You stay here. That's the kind of house I want. <laughs> that's the kind of house I'm going for. So, uh, and I'm just using it as, as motivation. Like, bro, look, I can't, I, I wanted people to see where I came from. Look, this is where I was at. This is where I came from. Now, watch where I going, I'm going to be next year when we finally move into the house of our dreams. So, yeah, just watch. And it's all because of God. I, I'm going to give God credit. I don't like to say stuff without giving the Lord, my Lord and Savior, credit. This is all the, with the help of, of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Paying your tithes and offering is important. You know what I'm saying? I don't, if you don't believe, just hey, try Jesus when he say Pay your tithes and offering, man. Don't worry about what the pastor doing with the money. None of that. Pay your tithes and offering. I promise you, your life going to increase. With all this other knowledge, you're going to increase your life tenfold. I promise you. So, with that being said, y'all, yeah, get your credit right. Play the credit game. And I promise you, your lifestyle going to change drastically. You've been wanting to know how all these people succeed in online. They've been using other people's money. I've been saying this forever, and I'm going to keep saying it. They've been using other people's money to, to use their credit cards, to, to put down payments on homes, 
so they can uh, flip them homes, like all of that. That's the game. But you can't be scared to go into debt, quote unquote, to get to where you want to get to. Robert Kiyosaki, the guy who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, his first house that he purchased uh, to start real estate was he used, he took the money off of his credit card, put it on the down payment, got the house, got it fixed up, flipped it, and that's how he started. Now he's a multimillionaire. But he wasn't, you can't be scared to say, look, I'm going to go into this small uh, debt because what I'm investing in is going to pay this debt off. That's just what it is. You got to think like that. If you think with a scarcity mindset, you will never do it. You will never advance in life. So that's, you know, that's pretty much this video, y'all, man. Um, I'm going to make some more videos about credit because there's so much I could tell you. I ain't even really dove deep into it yet. But that's pretty much what I wanted to make the video about today. I'm going to still make some more CPA videos and all that. But I feel like I need to hear this because this is very, very important if you want to increase your lifestyle, man. You can literally walk around with, you know, $50,000 to $100,000 in your pocket at all times with these credit cards. And 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 what most people will be looking at is like, oh, yeah, that's debt and you got to pay interest and all that. But y'all don't even know the game. It's so much. I can't even go into all of that. I'll touch on another video about all that because people be saying some stupid stuff, bro. And I'm like, that's why y'all broke. That's why y'all not going to make it because y'all don't know the game. Like, there's so much stuff you can do with it. But, yeah, you can literally be walking around $50,000, 100000 in your pocket and credit that you can have as investment tools and you're just the average person. And the crazy thing about that is you can do that within the next six seven eight months literally it don't take that long your credit score can increase in like two or three months and you can literally go apply for these big cards and literally get five thousand dollar two thousand dollar limits even a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollar limits and work from there now you got your investment tools and, and it's over that's money that you didn't even have but see, the problem was is people was using them to buy clothes from the mall and buy washers and dryers. That washer and dryer not going to pay you no more money. Invest that money and watch it return. But that's it, man. Video about 32 minutes. And uh, if this video helped you, man, comment below if you want to see more videos like this. Just, you know, headshots. You feel me? But yeah, um, yeah, I'm making some more CPA videos, some more trainings and all that. And, uh, yeah, man, go get your credit right. Do me that favor for real. And watch your life increase. All right, peace.